The Las Vegas Raiders defensive end, second year player Malcolm Coons, has only seen five snaps on the defensive side of the ball. In those five snaps, the guy has made three very solid plays. Today, we're going to look at all five of his snaps, and we're going to discuss why Coons hasn't played more because it doesn't make a lot of sense. Going back to the Chargers game, Coons ended up playing two snaps for the Raiders. This was the first of those two snaps. You guys are going to see that he's going to beat 88 off the line of scrimmage, reset the line of scrimmage, forcing the running back to cut it back, and the running back only picks up one yard. Coons does a great job here controlling number 88, getting to the inside and resetting the line of scrimmage. Of course, Eckler's trying to cut this out, and he's going to end up bending it back because Coons resets the line of scrimmage. This was Malcolm Coons' first play and only one of two plays against the Chargers. This is a great job by Coons. He has his hands on number 88, he's going to control him, and he has his eyes in the backfield. Now, ultimately, it would have been nice if he was able to make the play here on Eckler, but the fact that he does force Eckler back to the inside is still a nice job by him. Of course, you guys see the backside pursuit and Max Crosby comes and blows the play up. That's a nice job. Keep in mind, Coons is going to be rusty if he's only playing two or three snaps a game. On this next play, you have a split zone concept here where this guy's going to come and basically wham on Malcolm Coons who's going to come upfield. And the running back's going to cut it right underneath that. Not a major deal. Coons doesn't really do anything in terms of production on this play. But again, I do want to show you guys all five of his snaps. You know, the interesting thing about Koontz is he's very twitchy. He's very good in terms of moving his body, being able to avoid blocks and things like that. Right on this play right here, he avoids number one. Of course, I don't know if there was some sort of pass option to this for Herbert to potentially keep the ball and throw it to number one. Either way, uh, Malcolm Koontz does his job, nothing major, but did I want to show you guys this play because it is one of his five snaps. Let's go ahead and jump forward into the following week. Keep in mind, against the Cardinals, Kuhn saw zero snaps. Now, he does play special teams. He's taken 40 special team snaps. But special teams is not the same thing as being out there and being able to actually play. Because against the Tennessee Titans, he was actually making plays. Check this play out right here. This is the first snap that Kuhn took against the Titans. And you're going to see that although he doesn't actually get a sack, look at how close he gets to the quarterback. Uh, Kuntz does a great job getting out of his stance. He does a great job going up against this left tackle. He gets right into that chest. The quarterback throws it quickly, but look at how close he ends up getting to the quarterback. Again, I get it. He doesn't get the actual sack, but do understand there's really only 10 to 12 plays in which a guy really has a chance to get to a quarterback. Right, because only 10 to 12 offensive plays every single game are actually designed so a quarterback's going to potentially need the time to throw it deep. This is a check down, so this play doesn't really count. But the fact that Malcolm Kuntz still gets close to me, to me, this is a positive play. I did want to just bring it up because, again, there's only five snaps. Let's go ahead and jump forward into the next one. This is going to be the play in which Kuntz actually gets to the running back. Uh, here's Kuntz lined up in where in the position where Max Crosby is generally lined up. Uh, he's going to beat the right tackle. He's going to cross his face and he's going to get to the inside. You know, this play is interesting because one of the things Malcolm Coons has showed us over the past is his twitchiness, is his ability to beat someone at the point of attack. You guys are going to see that the right tackle is going to go directly at Coons and Coons is going to give him a left hard jab and get back to the inside. And he ducks past the right tackle, gets to the inside, and he's going to make the tackle on the running back. Think about this play right here. Like, Malcolm Coons doesn't have a whole lot of reps. He has five reps on the season, even against the Titans. In his first two plays, the guy is literally making plays. On one play, he gets a pressure to the quarterback. On the second play, he's tackling the running back for a loss of downs. On the third play, as you guys are going to see, he actually doesn't do anything uh, solely because he's going to get the double team. The offense line is sliding to the right. Uh, and you see the right guard is going to end up getting to Kuntz and stopping him. Keep in mind, this is also a quick throw. So Kuntz would not have had the opportunity to get the sack. But I got I want you guys to just think about where what Kuntz has done on his five snaps. And it doesn't make sense to me that he doesn't play more. Because in my opinion, Malcolm Kuntz is the real deal. You know, I don't just talk about guys and say I think this guy's really good for any reason. I did a preseason ranking where I said Malcolm Kuntz may be the Raiders' 10th best player. I put him ahead of some guys, and I got a lot of hate for putting Malcolm Kuntz so high. But in his five snaps, the guy's making plays. 
right? You can easily look at a guy like Kuntz and say, has someone like Chandler Jones done what Malcolm Kuntz has done? Keeping in mind, Chandler Jones has played 180 snaps on the defense side of the ball. Malcolm Kuntz has literally played in five. And Malcolm Kuntz is making play after play after play. I did want to just break down his tape and really just get into his snaps. Again, it's not a major deal. It's not like he has the snaps to really back it up, right? If he plays 150 snaps, we'll see what the guy can actually do. Uh, but I do like what Kuntz has shown in his five snaps. I do think that Patrick Graham will utilize Kuntz. It's just a matter of time. I know it hasn't happened yet, and I know some people may be disappointed, but something tells me Patrick Graham is keeping Kuntz there to potentially utilize a little bit later on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Let me know what you guys think about Kuntz, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.